Good day to you, ladies and gentlemen. Last evening, at around half past ten, I heard the nefoundest news that Great Britain had lost its prized triple A credit rating. This was a serious setback for the economy, as we have held that triple A credit rating since 1978. And what is the cause of this, I hear you ask? Well, there are two external causes. One is the checkbook chancellor, George Osborne, who has not brought down public spending, and indeed, public spending is £1.5 billion higher than last year. He has not brought it down. And also, the European Union is to blame. It has dragged us through the mud, and it is bringing our country down and our economy down with it. And that is the bottom line. Mr Osborne and his government are more concerned with making Britain a socially liberal place with, quite frankly, ludicrous laws as opposed to solving the problems that matter to the average working man and woman. We don't care about making Britain a socially liberal place. And those who do, quite frankly, are living in the same place as the Chancellor. They do not see the bigger picture that economy matters more than so-called social liberal issues. Indeed, what the Chancellor should have focused on, and indeed the government, was getting Britain out of the mess that a profligate Labour government had left us in. And they haven't done it. Indeed, they have exaggerated the problem. Higher public spending, and the deficit is going up. And now, since the first time since 1978, the Right Honourable George Osborne has, has overseen our country being downgraded from a triple-A credit rating to a double-A-1 standard. Now, I know some people are going to say, it doesn't matter. It would have happened under a Labour government. Well, let us dispel first point one. It does matter, because the less investment that is in this country, which, by the way, the triple-A credit rating attracts, the less taxes that is paid into the Treasury, and ultimately, the less money in your pocket, whether it be with lower taxes, or for those on benefit, more benefit. And to dispel myth to, it indeed would have happened anyway under the Labour government, but that is not a point. We have a Conservative-led government in power now, and we expect better of a so-called right-wing government. So... What do we need to get our economy moving? Well, there, were, there are one of two options of which I am going to give this morning. Option number one is that the Right Honourable George Osborne and his government cut taxes to 20% for all those earning over £20,000 a year. And all those earning under £20,000 a year pay zero tax. This would allow people who earn under £20,000 a year to have more money in their pockets and to spend and to thus stimulate the economy. And it would allow those who are rich, of a so-called rich and in over £20,000 a year, to also have more money in their pockets and to be able to spend. Indeed, why should this government punish both the rich and poor? As it is the rich who keeps the poor through their taxes, and it is the poor who give the rich an excuse to work. So thus we should not tax either. We should look after both. That is why we need a less fair economy. A free economy. One in which there is no regulation on any private company or anything. We must leave the European Union and cut foreign aid to fund these tax cuts. Think of it like this. The United Kingdom gives 
53 billion pounds a year combined to the European Union and to foreign aid. The figures are roughly 19 billion pounds for the European Union and a further 31 billion pounds in foreign aid. Now, we must of course come out of the nefoundous and vile European Union with its unelected left-wing bureaucrats and its corruption and its, quite frank, taking us for a ride. And we must stop foreign aid. For as any good person will tell you, by paying foreign aid to countries, you are holding them to ransom. You are not allowing them to grow. So we've got to stop it, regardless of the consequences of leaving both the European Union and cutting foreign aid. Indeed, £53 billion could accommodate the tax cuts I spoke of earlier. And that is what we want. We don't want to help those in Europe. And it is best that we do not help those in poor countries. Let them help their own selves. Charity begins at home. The other option you've got to solve the economy is that the 2015 or 2015 general election is not to vote for the status quo of the Conservatives, the Labour Party, or the Liberal Democrats. Indeed, there is one clear choice which stands out. That choice is UKIP. They have a vision to see what Britain needs. We need this vision for Britain. And I know you may say that I'm just one of these anti-conservative bashers, but let me make clear to you, I was a Conservative Party member up until last week. And I left simply because I saw the light. I saw that the Conservatives were nothing more than a centre-left-wing government in blue clothing. And we don't want this. So thus, this is what Britain needs. We must leave the European Union, we must cut foreign aid, we must lower taxes, and we must simply vote UKIP. A good morning to you all.